two components used in measuring risk are value of a basis point and modified duration. Value of a basis point, VBP, also known as basis point value, BPV, or for U.S. dollar products, dollar value of an 01, DV01, all refer to the same thing. This is the financial effect of a one basis point change in the instrument's yield. DV01 can be identified for individual securities or an average of DV01 of a whole portfolio. DV01s tend to get larger as you move out of the yield curve. For example, a two-year U.S. Treasury note may have a DV01 of $185 per million par value, while a 30-year Treasury bond may have a DV01 or $2,131 per million par value. The other factor used to measure risk is modified duration. Modified duration represents the financial change as a percentage gain or loss to a 1%, 100 basis points, change in underlying yield. U.S. Treasury futures can also be referred to in implied duration and implied basis point value terms. To look more closely at the BPV and modified duration of a futures contract, we must first go back to the concept of a U.S. Treasury futures contract cheapest to deliver, CTD, security. You may recall from previous modules, a U.S. Treasury futures contract's CTD security is the eligible bond or note that is most financially efficient for the short position to deliver the long position at contract expiration. The reason we want to know about the CTD security is twofold. One, contracts trade like their CTD security. And two, we will use the CTD security and its conversion factor to arrive at that contract's implied BPV. Once we know a contract's CTD, we can determine its BPV. And using the securities conversion factor, CF, and some simple mathematics, arrive at the contract's implied BPV. The implied BPVs for U.S. Treasury futures can be used to calculate appropriate dollar-weighted hedge ratios versus a cash security of portfolio, or to calculate the spread ratios between futures contracts so we can construct dollar-weighted yield curve trades. Interest rate traders and managers of risk use basis point value and modified duration to measure their market risk. Futures contracts based on U.S. Treasury securities can also be referred to in implied basis point value and implied modified duration with a little knowledge of how the contracts price and behave and some simple math. Knowing the contract CTD is the starting point.